Ladies and gentlemen, people and sheeple, children, emotional support piglets, and radical fairies who reject the binary, we're happening. The podcast is happening. It's starting, Mark. Welcome to Discretion Advised. I'm John Hill, here with Mark McNamara. How was that intro, Mark? One to ten. I, uh, I feel like it was a solid four. But okay, I okay have... what do you like when you watch porn? Well, Joe's first of all, Aaron. Debbie Does Dallas is the best of all time. Have you ever been high while filming RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Well, no. Bianca, are there any sex tapes of you floating around? Have you ever had sex with anyone from the Below Deck team? Oh, yeah. Um, What's going on, by the way, in Paris? What's with the bed bugs in Paris? Wait, I mean, what? they don't have... Do you and Jonathan ever sneakily sleep together? Yes. <laughs> I yes, knew we do. it! We slept together I last tell. night. Who do you Question. think of the top or the bottom? Well, I think definitely you're the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> A whole new world. Have right, you speaking. ever heard the wolf cry to the blue? I want to spring up something. We've kissed. Ooh. You and I did? Are you, what state are you in? Are you allowed to say? I want to know where this bunker is and what kind of shop. What? Is this is the this set of like... Breaking Bad? Now, do you mind just slapping yourself in the face hey. a little bit? Hey. I mean, do Don't we really want to do that? No. So I'm it. naked. Fuck, I'm naked because oh, they better. said, is it okay? Are, okay. Just are like you that. Really you are upstairs sitting at my house naked. Marge, do you watch porn? No, like if you're scrolling down, you got your lotion ready to have a good time. I don't, I don't need lotion. the lotion. I'd like to think I'm still juicy at this point in life. John has his fingers in his hole. Let's listen to it. I love this question. This is actually a highly nuanced question. Uh, it reads, how far can you shoot your load? Uh, well, I fell asleep while topping someone in Miami once. Was it the heat? It was the gin. So wait, <laughs> Boomer and Coco, you two have had sex. No. Absolutely. <laughs> Boomer, really? Dorinda, this would also be so much better with your shirt off. Yes! You have a huge cock. Okay. I've always known you have. Do, uh, do you moisturize your penis? Do you uh, swallow loads, John? It is too early for this. Um, do you want to see a human diorama? <laughs> and happy right gay back. pride. Happy gay pride. Woo! Yes. Yeah, suck dick. I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. We're doing a live podcast taping recording of our season two finale, right, Mark? You're correct. I'm John Hill. I'm trying to figure out my positioning. I want to... Bottom. It's, you know, I feel like... Welcome to Red Eye, New York City, everybody. Uh, we have some exciting news, Mark and I. We just found out that this is the largest crowd for a podcast recording that this venue has ever had. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> We're a success story. Out of, Why are you standing up? Why are you so tall? I want to see our fans and our audience. I feel like, has anyone seen the film, or does anyone know the story of Temple Grandin? Who? I feel like this apparatus was, is reminiscent of Temple. Temple Grandin was an autistic lesbian superstar who... Who, who invented the concept of the hugging machine for cattle, which reduced stress, which it straps you in and makes you feel comfortable. I feel like we're in Temple Grandin's machine. All right, welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm How just... do you know that? Like, what fact were you reading? Claire Danes was in the TV movie of Temple Grandin on Showtime. I watched it. I see a nod. Thank you. Do you know? Do you know it? You know what? What? Rumpel Forskin. What did you say her name was? Temple Grandin. Temple Grandin. We have a huge show ahead for you. I am just going to be in this position. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind. Um, I am. This is the end of our season two. This is our big finale episode. This is Mark, wild to me. Congratulations. Because, well, congratulations to you. You can see your nipples. This is the shirt that he wore on Watch What Happens Live, and I complimented on him, complimented him on it, because you could see his nipples, you could see his breast. Oh. See, well, we'll get to this, that this later. This is the shirt I was wearing when Sonia Morgan showed me her vagina. How did that look? It looked like, well, it looked Vaginas like... Vaginas hold up, don't say that. They because do. you go to a nude beach, balls are hanging, dicks are hanging, boobs are hanging, but a vagina is timeless. That's right. Like, it does not age. To be honest, I didn't know Ask it was... Ask Rumpel, that lesbian It lady. was kind of um, 
blurry. She did it. She twirled around in her in her seat, and it just kind of flashed, and it just looked like um, a plucked chicken. Blurred. You know what I mean? Like how they pixelate things on the television. It looked like live pixelation. So I didn't really see it. It looked great. I'm sure Sonia's very happy that her vagina is getting a lot of airtime. Yes. <laughs> it um, needs it needs some airtime. <laughs> Let's see, what else? I'm exhausted, you look great, my tits are out. You just flew in, you had a nightmare to get here, so thank you for, for doing this on no sleep. You're welcome, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> I'm staying at the Yotel, which is also just right over here, close by. <laughs> Applause for the Yotel, that's so wonderful. Um, I love that. You know, I love that the Yotel is in, and, and this establishment as well, like a lot of this stuff is happening in the Port Authority. When I used to live here, I always used to say when I would walk through the Port Authority bus station, I wish I could live here and perform here. And um, thank God it's a reality. You know, <laughs> who doesn't want to sleep in the bus station? You can for $200. Can. Stick around. We're going to play a little truth or dare, but John Hill, the Broadway extraordinaire, is going to sing a song. We're going to pass around a dildo between you, lightly used. If it stops on you, we're going to play a little truth or dare. All right, let me go grab the dilly. Oh, maybe I should sing Hero. What should I sing? I was just going to sing. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I have to find the lyrics. I have to find the lyrics. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with you, sir, and you're no, just going to no, pass. No, no, not CJ. What? No. Uh, He's old enough. He probably no, has several uh, in him right now, right? You've seen a dildo before, right, sir? Yes. Have you ever, are you, are you old enough to play with a dildo? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, then no. go for it. Here you go. Once John starts I'm singing, gonna you're going to pass it along. Keep passing it along. Whoever it stops on, we're going to play a little truth or dare. Let's see I'm if I can singing get anywhere with this. I'm going to keep singing until that dildo is far away from CJ. When, once John starts singing, start passing I'm going to sing a cappella because we didn't think we were going to be able to coordinate this with a track. All right. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Yeah. Wouldn't you think oh. I'm a girl, a girl who has every... Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can make it over there. God, this is why Bob Barker died. It's so hard with a mic. All right, sir, truth or dare? Dare. Dare. Ooh, a dare right off the bat. All right, get up on stage. Um, sexy man, get up on stage. Come here, dare right off the bat. Damn, we like this. Oh yes, you, follow behind me. Here we go. Sorry, thank you so much, I'm not. What is your name? Did I just drop something? No, Matthew. Matthew, are you a top or a bottom? Bottom. This is gonna work out well for you. Okay, go stand, get on the other side of John. And all I have to do is sing again, right? That's all you have to do is sing. Okay. I didn't expect a dare, but we're gonna do it anyways, all right. Hi, sir, come over here. This is Joseph. If those who have listened to the podcast know, this is who I live with, this beautiful man. Joseph, come over here. And take your shirt off. You said you're a bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, drop to your knees. You're used to that. Oh, my God, wait. You're going to take this shot off of this man. And if you end up sucking his dick, do it. No. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, you ready? Don't let any of this drop. You might want to take your pants off. Last time I saw Joseph, he was at the Eagle, and I left him. There you go. All right, you ready? You're going to take this body shot off of him. Go for it. Everything. <laughs> Look at this trove. Treasures untold. <laughs> Wonders can one cavern hold. Looking around here, you think. All right, thank you so shit. much. Let's play one more round real quick. Let She's me take that dildo everything. back. Ooh, this cord is. I've got gadgets my little and Alex gizmos a plenty. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. I've got who's it and what's All right, you ready? Before. Go, pass it along. You want sing about Bob's? I got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I stopped. Someone pick that dildo up. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see. Oh, yes, ma'am. It is you. <laughs> it is you. 
Oh, hello. I know. I assume you're top. What is your name, Miss Top? Uh, Ariel. Ariel? Oh, it is not Ariel. <laughs> is it really? All right, Ariel, take your dress off. I'm just kidding. All right, truth or dare? I'm going to do truth. Truth. <laughs> when is the last time you came, Ariel? This morning. The what was happening? Were you with somebody? No. Do you want to take that dildo home? <laughs> Give it up for Ariel. Wow. She can't clap. Her hands are busy. Thank you so much, Ariel. I'll take that back because I know what I'm not going to see you later. All right, John. CJ. Was that it? Truth or dare? Truth. You could bring one New Jersey housewife back. Who are you bringing back? Caroline. Okay. Caroline. Hey. No one try to kiss her. CJ Don't try Sykes. to kiss her. Listen, listen to P CJ's show. Plug for your show. It's so good. Oh, yes. Here, wait. Plug your show. She's What is it? Blues Clues? It's called, <laughs> <laughs> it's called The Weekly Scoop with CJ. Yes. yes. Check it out. It's The Weekly Scoop. All right. I think we have tortured enough. You guys ready to meet Melissa? Melissa Gorga, come up here. Okay, you're gonna sit right in the middle there. I have consumed a lot of costumes. Good. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna forewarn everyone. This is, you know. You got I've this. I see a lot of dicks in front of my husband tonight. This is. <laughs> And he's a very jealous Italian, let me just tell you that. Yeah, you are. Joe is being such a good sport. Thank you so much, Joe. You're I have a feeling Joe has us all beat, so we're, yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can see the humans. See, right? It's a little cagey. I like it. I'm in a cage, but I'm okay. Okay. Right. We're going to cheat out. It's a little cagey. It's a little cagey. We're, we're very close, but you smell you very nice. You got to keep us in cages, us Jersey. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Speaking of cages. Are you going to be dirty? No, <laughs> we're gonna, no, no, no. We're gonna start. This is gonna be very clean. Why would you family think that? that? We have We've a just child. Just show you open butts. Is it all different? <laughs> I have a question before we start. Go for okay. it. So you saw Sonia's vagina? Yes. Live. Live. Was it? It wasn't live. There's only yes. there's only two types of vaginas. Okay. There's a coin slot. Oh. oh. Or there's a roast beef sandwich. Okay. Which one? <laughs> no, was <it>? Melissa. Uh, <laughs> it's well, true. There's. Two and you worried about us being dirty? You just said. She looks like a boar's I'm head turkey. I'm allowed to speak about a vagina. I That's have, true. That's I true. will. I will see your coin slot and um, your roast beef sandwich, and I will raise you a rosebud. That's what I saw. Oh. Is that an answer? The straight people said ah, oh, but the gay so people. So it's like know, a mix. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. it Talk means to one of these lovely gentlemen coin here. Slot. Do you know what a coin slot looks like? The telephone where you put the quarter in. Yes, I love that you don't think I'm old enough to know the reference, but yes. What do you think Sonia's vagina looks like? A coin slot. A it, coin yes, slot. it was a tight, re gorgeous, <laughs> glistening coin slot. It, I bet so too, but I bet it gives change. <laughs> yep. Melissa, let's yeah. just give it up for her because she it just came back machine. from BravoCon. Is probably so exhausted, but she came here to support the community. So thank you so much. I'm here we to really support. appreciate of that. Of course. Now you met John. I, I saw you. I met you at um, whose party were we? Jeff Lewis's. Jeff Lewis's party. BravoCon. Do you find him to be a cocksucker too, like Crystal? You know what? I, he has an air about him. He does. But mm. I kind of, I always thought that about him in the previous. I've obviously seen him and heard of him for the last ten years. I've never really had a chance to like get up close and personal with him, this party I did, and I had a bigger appreciation for him. And he was lovely at that party. I like when I laughed, I like his yeah. little chubby lips. I'll tell you one thing, he gave me a story about his ex that I will never forget, and so then I fell in love with him after that story. It has to do with STDs. Yeah, we were there. Did he that. get a, a, an STD from an ex? Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Of no, course you don't. No, I'm not going to throw him <laughs> under the bus. But it was a great story. I kind of, I fell in love with him at BravoCon. I used to think, I always like did not like him, but I thought he had a little bit of an air about him. He's a cocksucker we love. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
Yes, I like him. but he's I, very good to his talent. Yeah, we love That's him. That's important. Yes. That's important. So then what was your peak and pit of BravoCon? What did you like the most and the least? Um, peak and pit. Okay, so, I mean, listen. When you walk into it with the fans, I have to say, like, that's why we're there. That's what BravoCon is, right? It's about meeting the fans. It's a fan experience. So it's definitely all the love and the cheering and the photo ops and everyone just telling you how much they appreciate you getting And did you feel mobbed? People were going crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. It was insane. They're obsessed with you. Um, I lost my voice. My feet had a heartbeat. It was... <laughs> no, literally, I could feel them beating. Like, it was crazy. Um, well, the worst part about it was just the glam for me every day. Like, it's, I'm actually a sweatpants. How long does it take you to get into full glam? Two, I'm like a two-hour girl. Wow. Two hours? Like, for I mean, that's normal, but For still. glam for BravoCon. Like, if I was coming here and you got to do my makeup, you better be done in an hour and a half or I'm going to freak fuck out. And what are you doing like, while they're beating your face? Talking to them on my cell phone. If I ignore them, they want my attention. I talk to them again. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I'm so, on my phone a lot yeah. during glam. I want to bring up something that was said Jesus Christ, at don't Bravo piss Con. me off. No, this is not going to piss you off. Okay. I'm on your side. Okay. Not it's that okay. I don't want to pick sides. Even if you're not, I, can I told you before, like I'm an Italian as well, and we fight with my family all the time. There are years we go without That's, talking, so I get it. Okay. And once someone goes to jail, it'll be fine. Okay. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So at BravoCon, you said about Jackie that she picked a bone for attention, trying to ruffle, ruffle some feathers and throwing things after to see what sticks. Now, for someone who doesn't give blowjobs, she seems to be sucking Jennifer's dick a lot. Ooh. What do you feel? Is it genuine? It's not just Jennifer's. I know, but I didn't want to say anything else. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I got it. It's, it's just so extra to me, like the love and the hearts on every photo and like, and if like anyone knew the conversations literally one month or three weeks before the hearts on the photos and the, it's just so disingenuine and I, I, it's nauseating to me. Is she trying to just get her spot back? Just I don't, I can't get attention. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I think that she's, it didn't work on that side. She's so doing now let me what go she to has to do because, because it's I, less populated. It's less populated on the other side. Correct. Correct. So that's why she's going there because there's a spot for her there. Well, there's always a spot if you hate Melissa Gorga. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're not here, not, not tonight. Here. Yeah, no, not but here, there's not a spot because they need more. Okay. Capiche? A capiche. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> it's like. Io oh well. You know, and it's not only about that. It's about Margaret. It has a lot to do with Margaret. We love Margaret. Uh, I know. Listen. We love. I am here to vouch for her. Love. An amazing human. Yeah, she is. And not just saying that. I know what she comes off as on TV. Very like in the business and in people's faces. If you are her friend, you are her fucking. Friend. And by the way, soiree is lit. I don't drink, but I wear that hat. I drink it all love time. it. I heard you tell her that at love Jeff it. Lewis's party. Love it. Yeah. I love it too. Okay, I know we can't talk about the upcoming season. Reportedly, I'll be in so much trouble. We're not going to do it. I, I heard there was like a, a fight at the finale, but we're not going to talk about that. But I do want to see if we can get some superlatives. If the reunion was held tomorrow, who do you think is going to be in the hot seat? Um, if it was held tomorrow. Because you're finished, Jackie. Brad. Jackie. Jackie. She's going to be asked at the reunion, you think? Um, and I would say Teresa. Who is the MVP of the new girls out of Jen Fessler, Rachel, Danielle? Who do you feel is like the MVP I of this upcoming season? This coming season, Danielle is in the fire. I don't know if that means MVP. It means like she deals with a lot of shit this mm -hmm. season out of all the new girls. Okay. All right. We won't dig up any deeper because we don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah. We need you there. Okay. Thanks. You're a very successful businesswoman. You have you. Envy by Melissa Gorga. You have a beautiful house with new chandeliers. You I have, have a, a podcast. <laughs> a podcast. Plug your podcast. Chandelier. On display with Melissa Gorga. Yay! Yes, we're on display. On display. Can you sing on display for me? For on, me? Display, on, on display. display on display. On display. display. Okay. Anyway, every Thursday morning, yes. yes. Work. Okay. I just dropped a new one this morning. Is today Thursday or was that yesterday? Yes. Today's with Friday. Erin, yeah. the new New York love. girl. She's okay. really Really cute, and I like her, and I like how. What was with the booties out all BravoCon? Her page. No pants. No, no pants. pants. No pants. It was a no trend pants. alert. No pants. Yes, trend alert. Anyway, go ahead. So you have all these successes, and you're you're in the 
you're in the public eye, you're fabulous, so that comes with a lot of hate. Yes. What triggers you to engage? What, if a, a fan or someone is commenting online, what, what is gonna make you go there? Huh, I'm, I have a lot of self-control these days. I used Well, what's the thing that would push your button to respond? My kids. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like if you say something about Antonia or something, I like freak the fuck out. Understandable. Yeah. So don't do it. This or is not CJ. an invitation don't to do that. Don't, don't come for CJ or, or any other one of her my children. My longest <laughs> fan of like 15 years, never miss an event ever. Can we give it up for CJ? CJ! <laughs> I don't know that the, he is of age, although I still feel very, <laughs> just saying. I'm like, you sure you want to come to this one? You can skip this one. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself, CJ? Did you like those dicks? Hey. Okay, good. Come on, you can smell his breath. It smells like a no. bag full of mixed yeah, nuts. I, I don't hear what's happening right now. Just, I, just I, we'll, we'll move it along. What is the most dramatic thing that the viewers haven't seen? that maybe has happened and didn't make it to air. Oh, that they haven't seen? Yeah. It's definitely like the fight of the fight. So like mm -hmm. you'll see the fight, but you didn't really see the fight. Uh. You saw the bodyguards like come in and grab everyone. You didn't see how Oh, the fight vicious. fight with Joe and Joe. Um, no. Not that one. <laughs> oh, about that one. I don't know, but like all of them, like you'll see a little bit, but not the full. Because they won't show the bodyguards and stuff. No, they do show the bodyguards. But, but they're following it, up. it. Right. Like I don't feel like you see like the nitty gritty sometimes. It gets dirtier. Yeah. Okay. What do you think the future is of New Jersey? Is it going to be split panels forever? Or what What do you see the future of New I Jersey? I think it's going to be a very different next year. Very different. Yeah, and I'm not saying I know what, when, who, why, where, or how. I just I personally cannot imagine doing what we did this year. Mm. One more time. That's I, I have no answers ever, yeah. but in my brain, I'm like, how? And here to explain further, Louie. <laughs> <laughs> he was not invited. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't I mean, mean he I won't show know. up. <laughs> I have no answers. As you know, listen, you're with Andy Cohen every day. Do you have any answers? No, and I don't want to know. Okay. I want to exactly. find out see, like everybody see else. See how he keeps it clean? I would like to also. But he really doesn't want to know. Like I John don't. specifically asked, do not tell me because I'll favorites? accidentally say. Do you say. have favorites on the shows? My favorites are the people who come on our show and are chill as fuck to us. That's why like Marge, Dorinda, yes. you. Thank you. For That's it. <laughs> and Tamara. Sorry. It's just me, Marge, and Dorinda. That's it. And Tamara. And Tamara. Tamara was great. She's, yeah, Best. she's Monique. crazy too. We love Monique. Okay, Monique. so who would you bring back out of Dina, Caroline, Siggy, Amber, Jacqueline, Kathy? Who are you bringing back? I know. Caroline. Caroline? <laughs> yes. Okay. I know, I know. But, like, I appreciate the Dom. You know, like, the. she brought Albie. She brought Lauren. She brought a Chris. She brought, like, a crew of, like, Italians eating, you know, like, sausage and mozzarella. <laughs> like, That's I true. I appreciated, like, that little... Part of yeah. You ready to play a game? Oh shit, yes. In your honor, we're gonna play a game called On Tits Play. <laughs> on tit? Like on, on tits, on tits play. play. We're gonna show you a close up. You have to guess whether it is a housewife cleavage or a gay porn star's ass. Okay. But we're gonna need the help of Joe Gorga. <laughs> Joe Gorga, come up here. Because if you get it wrong, Joe Gorga has to squirt John Hill with a penis squirt gun on his breast. So, John, you're going to have you to take have, that shirt have, off. John, you have great pecs. Thank you. And my husband does, too, by the way. I have better pecs. So that's you, too, John. That's my thing. I like a nice chest. Oh. Yeah, and you have a nice chest. So I'm going to need Joe. Yeah! John and Joe have taken off their shirts. Joe, Joe Gorga, Joe Gorga. Holy shit. No one asked. Take off your shirt. I was going to ask. I was going to ask. Were you? What's this? Okay, I think this. I think this. I think this game will be better played with your pants off. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. All right. So let's see the first image. And if Melissa, you get it incorrect, do you think that is a housewife's breast or a porn star's ass? A porn star's ass. Reveal. Oh! oh! That is Sheree Whitfield. Oh you get to squirt him in the chest. By Sheree. Squirt those tits. What are we squirting him with? 
Uh, oh, it's, oh. That's straight up Joe, get semen. get better than that. Get it better. That is straight up semen. It took me three weeks to collect all that, so be sparingly. All right, let's see the next image. Is it an ass or a breast? I'm very confused on this one. I am going to go with an ass. Reveal. Oh. It is an ass. That is Rain from Sweet Meat on NakedSword.com. You got it right. Oh, oh, you want me to get it wrong? Yeah, get it wrong. Ooh, ooh. That is a freckly pair of tits. That is a freckly pair of tits. Who is that? Oh, Dolores. <laughs> Dolores! Okay, she, Dolores, do you hear she just came for your okay, freckle tits? Okay. Dolores Those is, are great tits. Dolores is my girl crush. I touch her ass all the time, so I didn't really. That's a very zoomed in photo. <laughs> have we ever have we ever done anything with Dolores? Is she just family? Um, say it again. Have we ever like gotten to know Dolores? Me and her? Or anybody in the group. Wait, you think he banged her? I think that if I was, I would invite her. She would be invited. Oh my God, we don't, we don't play that game. We don't play that game, I agree. All right, next. <laughs> okay, Ooh. I'm very confused on this one. Ooh. I'm gonna go with an ass. That's a porn star's ass. It's a ass. porn star's ass. Reveal. Brandy oh. Glanville. <laughs> Squirt those Brandy. tits. <laughs> okay, okay, that was Brandy. Oof. Ooh. That is a shiny. I already, I already know this is like a Jersey girl's over highlighted tits. Over highlighted tits. Reveal. It is Melissa Gorga. <laughs> she knew. Hey, she's a Jersey girl. What that was is it? A Jersey girls with the highlighters. Tits. What is it? Some people are born. I, I thought. <laughs> Did I know exactly what I was saying? Holy but wait, what's the tagline? Some people are born. Some people are born. I don't. I don't remember. And then some people are born Jersey. Yeah. Some people are born great, and some are born Jersey. And that is a Jersey tag. No, my favorite tagline is, "I never throw the first punch, but I'm always the knockout." <gasps> Ooh. Okay, wait. I'm gonna put you on the spot. If you had to make up your tagline for next season, what is it? Oh, oh, I always go to the gays for this. Yeah. No, like I literally group text every yeah, single one I know, and I'm like, get me my tagline now. And then I, they come in, they come in. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave it to you to give me my next season. And I'm dead serious, like on this podcast, find me my new tagline. Okay, you speak Italian, right? Mm, he does. He does, oh shit. Well, but fuck. I can, I okay. can. Okay, I may be bilingual, but I only talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> More sass than that. Me more sass. Okay. Yeah. All right. So everyone's got to come up with my new tagline. I direct porn, you know, so don't come for me unless squirt. I say this action. This doesn't want to get wet anymore. <laughs> Keep going. I want to squirt. That next, Melissa next Gorga. picture. Right. Let the I just want to say. She said that about her own tits. For the people listening at home. For the people she listening was a at tit. home, I said that's a Jersey girl's highlighted tits, and it was my own. It wasn't a freckly tit, like she said. That's about. an ass. That is an ass. Reveal. Yeah. Oh, you got it right. You know what, Joe? Squirt her. Squirt Joe, her for no, knowing that's an ass. Squirt her for knowing that's no, no, an ass. No. Him, him. Not there me. you go. Okay. Good. Next. I want this at home. Why is your shirt off? No one asked you to take this. Take the shirt. Take the shirt off. All right. Who? All right. Those are some boobs right there. That's Those a, are some boobs. That is a pair of spread apart tits with some. Not spread apart. Also some. <laughs> Oh. Wait, wasn't um, she your past? She's my girl crush. And I will, I love those boobs. They're amazing. Bryn, she's, that is Bryn Joe, Whitfield from I the New New York. I said if I had to have a hall pass, it would be Bryn from the New New York. And I really, really She's gorgeous. Joe, do you approve? Joe, uh, that's my Do you hall approve pass. as a hall pass? Yeah, can I come in? Wherever you want. No, the answer is that is no. I approve, go ahead. Okay. We love it. All right, next. Look at John, he's so funny. Oh, those are, that's, uh, I think that's a boob. I, I want to say that's a boob. He, she thinks it's a boob, reveal. Oh, it is Portia. Portia Williams. Bring her back to Atlanta, fix it. Next. An ass. An ass. Or long boob. A long boob or an ass, reveal. Oh. Cynthia motherfucking Bailey. Okay. Was, am I wrong? 
Was I wrong? It could be. Oh. Okay. That's an ass. That's an ass. It does? Oh. It is Raphael Alencar. You know what? Let's bring him up. Raphael, come up here. He's Thank here. you so much, Joe Gorga. Thank you for being a good sport. Leave that shirt off, please. Hi, Raphael. We're allowed to take the dick squirter home. Give it up for Raphael, give it up for Joe, give it up for Melissa. Capito tutto. Il padre di Sardinia. Wait, Raphael, oh. you speak Italian? Claro. <laughs> well, this is just the Italian podcast today, so everyone's got to eat pasta in the morning. Are you I, speak, good? I speak Italian better than English. You got good Do you? Yeah, you speak English? No. no. All right, Raphael, how, what, what is going on? Only bad You words. smell like dentine. Did you just come from a client? Oh, I, I hit it. I hit the She's curious. Hat. Hit it again. That is so good. This is going to be like a child in front of that, that board. I don't know. Is there a cancel? Yeah, hit him. That's Raphael in a nutshell. <laughs> Thank you. Don't now touch that you've the button. Raphael. All right, John Hill, can you grab those shots? Yep. We're gonna play a game called oh, Shots shit. or yes. Thoughts. Now the questions are gonna get a little go harder. <laughs> you can pass it off to your husband if you don't want to take the shot. Oh, shut up. Joe will do the shot. He's like, give me the shot. Let me take my shirt off. You're a lot. Joe, I think if you're gonna do that shot, you need to take your pants off. That's not, you know what? I've been nice to you all night. <laughs> don't be. Don't be. No. Who gets the rest it. of we these? Love um, that's, 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 we just need two there and two here. Check for me? Here. That's for okay. you. I don't drink. You gotta drink. Sorry we fucked with your buttons, sir. Thank you. I was touching all your buttons. I know that Ooh. annoyed you probably. Oh, here, do you want the, wait. Right, Melissa, drink. Drink. yeah. Check. Do you drink? Just sip it. I don't drink, but I'm gonna smoke a big ass okay, joint once we're done. Whoa. Oh, you're really gonna? Do you? Do you, I don't drink. You know that. I don't I know, drink. I know. I so that means you have to answer all these questions. Okay. All right. Let's there we go. Should okay. Oh, this one too? Cheers. What's that? Oh, Joe. Oh, oh, God. Damn. Joe. Yeah. They're gonna. I have a feeling they're gonna answer these. These are two professionals. We they're are gonna. We got this. Professionals. We know what we're doing here. Let's all right. Do this. Melissa Gorga, your first question. We all know that Jennifer Aiden is a disheveled drug addict. <laughs> According to Margaret, and we don't disagree, who else in Jersey smokes weed? They take gummies. They take gummies? Wow. The whole other side of the couch. <laughs> the other side of the couch? Yeah, I actually don't. And oh. I'm not saying that like in a, I just can't. It's like I go into another world. Yeah. And Ooh. even Joe Gorga, like if he were to smoke weed right now, he would go like this. He does this X. And he's like, what's happening? Oh Can my God. I, my it? goal is I'm to like, get you both high as shit thing. after this show. <laughs> That's yeah. my goal. Yeah. Good. I accept. We accept. You don't have to take a shot. I'm a Professional. Drinker. I'm a cocktailer. That's what I do. We love it. Um, we love it. All right, John. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right. Is you this... got this. Yeah, you're going to ask Raphael a question. Oh, that question. Right, right, right. What's, I put that, it... what's that question? <laughs> I put it into my you notes. Before. You didn't ask. Where no, you didn't John thought of these oh, all put... by himself. No, no, I put it in my photo. I took a photo of it. Right, 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 right. Okay. Raphael, uh, mm -hmm. craziest request from a client. Uh, Wait, what do you do for a living? Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. He's a dentist. <laughs> he takes people to coffee. I, uh, I work in hotels. <laughs> he does do a lot of checking in and checking out. Yeah. Ask me any hotel in the city that will tell are you, you which one is are good you or not. A male prostitute? He well. offers turn down service. I'm not a female prostitute for <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen Pretty it. Woman? I'm in the flesh. 
<laughs> yeah, so, uh, and you might get an invoice. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, what's the craziest request from a client that someone's ever made as you were taking them to coffee? Okay, okay, there is one request. Um, there is one request that I actually invite him over here, but he couldn't make it because he left the city. He's a very famous. I'm not gonna mention names. Because I never mentioned names. He's very right. famous. How but famous? But he's a very famous TV anchor. Oh. Oh, I know who you're talking about. No, you don't, because it's not this one that you think. When it's no, I, one. I know the other one you're talking it's about. He's the second most famous in the country. Anyway, so he had to Is it do... the cute blonde that then moved over to the other one? He's not blonde. And then came back again? I think they're all blonde. The weather know. boy. Uh, except except no, you no, and no. me, they're all blonde, right? Okay, so wait, what was the request? Okay, so he had to do a very fast um, T- f- face, I mean, live show. Mm-hmm. And we were fucking. Uh-huh. And he did Sandy one- Kenyon? Uh? Sam Champion. No. I'm not going to say no. names. Well, I'm not say names. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. So he, he, right? I was in bed. He put the camera there and was facing time with the TV like there were seven people there. He was one of them. In the meantime, he said, yeah, that's it. Oh no. <laughs> and for like 20 minutes, it was the live show. Yeah, something in Afghanistan, blah, blah, blah. And it's horrible. I mean, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's... Very, no. very bad. Are you serious? Is this lie? Is this real? And it was very, actually, it's not strange. It was very nice, very fun. I was part was of that. very them. nice. Was... Shut up. Mm-hmm. Come on. It is very fun. I mean, so. And this the, did you learn anything about politics or anything? No, it was not recently. No, recently. I've been behaving very well. Okay. Recently, yes. Thank you for your service. Oh, if it's a polit. Uh, Thank it, you for or, your service. Yeah, he talks about politician, yes, yes. Wow. You're, you're getting there. All right, <laughs> Melissa Gorga, same question. No, just kidding. What? <laughs> All right. This is a dirty four. question. This is a dirty question, and you don't have to answer it. I but I think about it. Crystal from Beverly Hills said that the Roni cast old and new was the rudest at BravoCon. Alexia said Kyle and Dorit. Lala said Teresa. Who was your worst encounter? <laughs> so many. I have to be honest. Everyone was so. Who was your best yeah. encounter? Hmm. John Hill. <laughs> I feel like Erica was awesome. Like we her love and I, Erica. Her and I hug it out. Um, Crystal was awesome. I you have to understand. I've known these girls for a really long time, so I'm trying to go off of people who are more new. Like yeah. To me, everyone's like, "Oh, what's up." Like, there's no excitement. Like, I've known everyone For, like, 14 years now, right? Yes. So it's, like, for me, it's, like, they're just, like, hey, girl, how's it going? It's nice to see everybody. Yes. I can't say anyone was rude. I sat on the couch for, like, 20 minutes talking to Kenya about Usher. And I'm, Uh. like, what are you doing? Why didn't you, like, progress that? And, like, she's, like, she's got a girl at home. She's pregnant. I was, like... Okay, like, I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I can't, I had not one, I'm being honest, I would tell you, yeah. everyone is like top notch with me. How could you be mean to her? She is so fucking lovely, so yes, Thank you. that's acceptable. The vibe there is lovely, everyone's there to have yeah, a good time. I, but people had bad encounters. I, I, like, people got booed. Oh, yes they did. People we know very well. <laughs> yeah. people I are did gonna not, get though, by the way. People got very booed. Yeah. You know, that's just how that goes. Ooh. I mean, we, we, we saw that. I want to know all your secrets. You <laughs> are so intriguing to me. <laughs> Is it, do I ask so him this next one? You got one more for Raphael. <laughs> okay, Raphael. You already, you did, even though you don't name names, you did mention a couple here on the podcast before. They made me mention. You know, I never Patrick mentioned. Swayze, R.I.P., oh, you know, yeah. John Travolta, Tom Cruise, whatever. R.I.P. Who, had sex who with else? People? No, they had sex with me. They had sex we with can't. him. He took them to coffee. Who is someone else that we might be surprised by that you took out f- for a quick coffee? You have, to, you have to tell me something good, please. Uh, celebrity? Yeah, yes. that you just had like coffee oh, or I dinner. Oh, I took for with. coffee. Uh, does does include woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, sure yeah. does. Oh, she's nice. I don't want to talk. It's about okay. Her. Martha she's Stewart. Nice, no better. But better than Martha better Stewart. Than that. Dame Judy Dench. Okay, but I, I, I'm gonna say name because again she's gone. Okay, oh. that's fine. who is it? I can't speak. You but this not Angela Lansbury. 
<laughs> it won't leave this room. Everyone, cameras down. Yeah, Who did you take the dinner? When I was in London, sad. yes. <laughs> Who was it? Him was got them. So she is. Uh, this cannot leave this room. Promise. We were, we're, we're not even recording. Oh, These I mics hate, aren't I even hate on. To be yeah. so, I have so many lawsuits. It's just mind. we said dinner. <laughs> okay, she's a Trump. <gasps> no, Ivan. No. No. Yes, yeah, she's fun. Listen. It was a very nice meeting. Ivana Trump. Did she do the news while sitting on your deck? Yeah, but not Went just to me, dinner. A lot of people. She's a friend. She's a very sweet. She's a very gay. She's very like, like woman, like man, like everybody. She's, yeah. she's awesome. All and of a sudden, my butthole has clenched. I don't want to go there. Wait, I don't want to know wait, about wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. I want to know how all of these famous people find you. Like how how are you no yeah, how are like, you the man? I'm like a public phone number. He's very easy to find. I mean the yeah. yellow page. You can't even okay. His can't phone number is cab in hieroglyphics in on caves. Yeah. He's had to the it. Cave, yeah. Easy to find. He's a known person. <laughs> yeah. This is a good one. I have bad encounters, but you, she's the she's a good one, yes. Wow. Yeah. You wanna hear a bad one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I love this guy. This <laughs> just why got interesting. We, why are we casting him? <laughs> Who else? Who was a bad one? She's a bad one. I think I, I mentioned this before, but it never in the microphone, right? So there's Fashion Week in New York. Oh my God. Fashion Week in New York. All the designers from all over the world come to New York City and they do their fashion show. There's always an after party fashion show, honey. Be, believe me. Oh my God. We are very settled. We are very Tory Burch. Oh, it's not even him. <laughs> Let's go there, folks. Some Italians come to really make a big party here. So the after party are selected. Not everyone are welcome. Uh, at the door you have to give your, surrender your cell phone. And after you pass, whatever, you are welcome to the... So there is a penthouse here on the 50th Street. Yeah, that's for six years. Uh, an after party is, whoa, crazy. You see the... The most wild things you can imagine. So the most famous celebrity that you see in time suit, the most good looking tall models that you see always in a, in a runaway, you see them getting very wasted. So one time. <laughs> I am glad I got to sit next to this chair because I can hold the railing and brace myself. I feel like Joe Gorgon <laughs> I got yeah. invited because they need they need the companions to take me. There. So you so fucked Cindy Crawford. Okay. No, Cindy Crawford. You're an my escort. Friend. Keep it oh, okay. She's sweet. All right. Yeah, he's an she's escort. Get to her. the point, Dorit. Not her. <laughs> Actually, she's a very nice person. So. Uh, okay. So you're at the party. Oh. Who'd, who'd, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Ever, you. Everybody. Thank you, John Hill. Thank you. My yeah. name sucks. We got no, you. you're great. You're great. Everybody was getting wasted. I needed to go to the bathroom. There was a woman laying down on the floor, blocking the the bathroom. And I look at that. She had. Uh, she has a very expensive diamond ring here, with uh, together with beans, and because she just threw up. Was Diamonds and beans. <laughs> It was the British one that you probably know who she was. She Naomi? Was no, the one that goes crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, she was there. Twiggy? Said, who the hell yeah, who the hell? fuck are you talking about? Said, who is he talking about? I didn't know who was. I said, who is that? Oh, this is Katie. She loves the floor. Oh. Kate Moss. Okay, so live on the floor. So I jumped no in. lawyer can understand this story to even sue you. So Thank trust you me, very much. you're fine. <laughs> Thank you You're very good. much. You're so good. that was a All right, so K Moss sucked unclear. your dick. Got it. Moving on. <laughs> Woo! Is everyone okay in the audience? Oh, I, I did everyone story. survive that story? I have a story. Can't leave this room. No, I cannot leave this room. Wait, Wait Mark, just... I have a story about BravoCon. I just yes. thought about this. So on Watch What Happens Live, right before we went to BravoCon, he had Alexia on <gasps> from Miami. Mm -hmm. And he had asked her about the thing. The what? Italy meetup with Louis? So, <laughs> <laughs> not that. Oh. Sure, he had asked her a bunch of things, but he, she's also been on Watch What Happens Live once before, and she was kind of. Her and I have known each other since day one of her debut in Miami. We've been to dinner yeah. together. We've been at Swim Week, Fashion Week in Miami together multiple times. We've had dinner together. Her and her ex-husband Gino's calling. Joe, can you answer your phone? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, all these things. 
So I was annoyed with her because she's suddenly friends, I guess, with my sister-in-law. So her and I never had, like, a falling out. And she went on Watch What Happens Live, and I feel like she was bashing me a couple times. She was mm. saying, like, oh, Melissa has 600,000 more followers than Teresa because she buys them. Like, she just said it to be funny. But, it, like, to me, I was like, you're not funny. Like, you're stupid. Yeah. And, like, yeah. no, I have more because I'm good at Instagram. Like, whatever it may be. Okay. Yeah. Thank Give you. it up for so, Melissa. I haven't seen her since. And I text her one night when she was on Watch What Happens Live. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you're acting like a 12 year old. I, when do we, since when do we have a problem? Because you have a girl. She ignored my text. Oh. Haven't seen her. I, uh, I go to do, we had to do one event. And who knew? Alexia. It was only six of us housewives me, Tamara, Alexia, Giselle, and someone else. I see that she's gonna be on the bus with me. It's just the six of us. I walk right up to her and I'm like, oh, you're here today, hi. I'm like, I've texted you, you have nothing to say to me. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, because you have this newfound friendship with my sister-in-law, you're gonna start bashing me? Like, what are, we, what are you doing here? And she apologized. Okay. okay. She was very we like nice. that. I said, I've been nothing but nice to you, good to you. I don't give a fuck who you're friends with, who, who like, I, it has nothing to do with me. Yeah. And she's like, you're, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. And she was very nice. Okay. So that was like a little bringing thing people that together, at healing. Time where we had like, because that happened right before I went. She went on Watch It Up Live, and she's like a little, mm. you know, I feel like she wasn't shady to me on that episode. Actually, she was shady to other people. She should be happy. I mean, she dodged face, a bullet in her Italy. Her face said it all. Right. And so did uh, Garcelle's. Really? Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's my team. I like Garcelle, but Garcelle needs to start bringing her energy in the confessionals to the show. She talks a lot in the confessionals, her real opinions, and then in the show, she doesn't. But I love her. Let me just state that. Yeah. Period. That, you know what? When people do that, it's because they don't want to, like, have the fight, but right. yet they still want to be, a, like, they still want to have a the moment. moments. Yeah. But it's kind of like you're backing away from... From doing it live. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right. You don't do that. No, and I'm not putting that on Garcelle. A lot of housewives do that. Right. It is. Um, it's a I'm big on like, let's have a conversation. Like, I love a conversation because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm I can win that. Like, let's have a conversation. Facts for facts for facts. That's my thing. Same with Raphael. He loves a conversation. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? All right, let's reel it back into game time. Game time. We're going to play a little game. Are you smarter than a porn star? Oh, anyone. anyone. Here's a hint. You are. <laughs> Both of the. Did you not see John's crotch magazine cover? Do I count as one now? You are now a porn okay. star. You're selling dick. That yeah. is what porn oh does. God, he's an Italian porn star. He's Brazilian. He's Brazilian. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's a dentist. That's true. That's true. Just All right. Joe, he was just speaking fluent Italian. He's Italian. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. He travels the world. He gets booked everywhere. I know. I've, I've been all over, yeah. All right. You all are playing on this game. I heard you're a dentist as well. I, I went to, to university. I graduate dentist. And I did too much. I have teeth in my Six butt. Six years, yeah. <laughs> bite your dick right and off. And I quit to be a porn star. You're right, yeah. Thank God you did. Oh, Can thank you God. imagine? Thank me? God. No. How is the... I, I have a question. How is the money being a porn star? The, oh, really oh, he is so yeah. rich. It's he all about so the whole rich. package. People, you get to know people... And the people take you all over. Oh, oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. He gives I, the experience. I am up what the he's experience, down. yeah. The, yeah. the Beyonce it's all experience. About who you meet. There's no really porn stars anymore because now, now everybody's just content creator. They, they shoot the video at home, mm -hmm. right? They don't have to leave Cincinnati. I get a lot of um, porn stars tag me on Instagram. What? And so, like, if you go to, like, see the post that Melissa's in, mm -hmm. whatever that's called, mm -hmm. your tagged photos, there's a lot of, like, Russians having sex on my right. and I'm like I didn't huh. I untag myself <laughs> I'm gonna tag you tonight how about can All right. I that would have, I would like to see you mm -hmm. since now we can I team tag you now we oh god <laughs> <laughs> okay let's play the game okay. okay let's play the game all right Melissa we're gonna start with you okay name a state that ends with a k I got this one wrong mm -hmm. it's easier than you think a state? a state that ends with a K. The answer no, is closer than I was going to say that, but Did Kentucky? He just, not Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky. New York. New oh, York. Yeah. I got it wrong. I said oh Arkansas. Oh, my God. That was really hard. <laughs> 
I just, my first thought was Kentucky. <laughs> All right. You know what, Melissa? So far, you're in first place. I'm very competitive. <laughs> John okay. Hill. I get them all wrong. In addition to the genitals, what else swells during sex? Oh, yeah, I would love to know this. The brain? The nostrils. Your nostrils swell. They can't swell. They're just holes. Yes, they do. So yours do. (laughs) Oh. They do. I see it. They go, like, out a little bit, and you're, like, hot. Dilated. (laughs) He's putting in the work. All right, Raphael. You were a dentist. Yeah. How many teeth do adults have? So far, no one's gotten anything. Is it 32? 32, it is right! <laughs> wow! I mean, if you didn't know that answer, wow. I'd be like, yeah, Wow. Yeah. All right, Melissa, here's I'll your be comeback. A star instead. I need to come back from Kentucky. It's a true or false one. So you got 50 50 on this. Square dancing is the state dance of New Jersey. True or false? What do you guys think? False. 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 Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's (laughs) true. Square dancing is the state dance of New Jersey. Do you know how to square dance? They taught me that in gym class. So is that why? We did square dancing. Probably. Patriots. Yo, you better wake up. You better not look at you, baby. Look at this. Whoa, hello. Look at this. Wow. You have small feet, Melissa. Okay. Those are porn star feet. Yo. Really look at, let's Sorry, show don't look at my hair. nostrils. They're, infl- <laughs> they're flaring. Legs too. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Give out some of that gold. All right, John. Yes. Name one of the top five most sexually satisfied countries. And I have my answer. Oh, Just oh, any, one of the top one five. One of the top oh, five. A visa. Um, um, not a oh. visa, as a country. <laughs> It's not a country, yeah, Brazil. A pizza. Brazil. Yeah. Colombia. Yeah, it is not on it. You say Colombia. That is not on it. Any other Sweden. guesses? Sweden is not on it. London. They're hoes. None of these are in the top ten. Do you have any guesses? Of the, just well, name me Italy, one. Italy, Spain. Italy. Spain. What's the question? Name one of the top ten most sexually satisfied countries. You guys have not named Finland. one. The United States. United Iceland. States is number ten. <laughs> wow, Greece. Greece, Greece is on there. You guys want to know the whole list? Yeah. Number one oh, is Nigeria. We're getting Nigeria. the finger from here. No. We're Nigeria, the Mexico, India, India, Poland, Greece, Holland, South Africa, Spain, Canada, and the U.S. Where did you get this list from? Your mom. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Okay, that is, wait, who, we have one more, one more. Raphael, how long can sperm live inside of you? Inside me? Oh, I know yeah. this. How long can sperm live inside of you? Does it count you and me? No. No. Melissa, you want to steal? How long? Four days. <gasps> it is four oh, days. I would never guess. Wow. I that means half of you are pregnant right now. Uh, what? What's, Thank you. That's the only I, answer I, that I someone I, got. I I Melissa won. wins Melissa the game. Yes! Holy shit. All right. So we're, I'm going to run into the audience and do a quick q and I'm going to take three questions. Oh, so if anybody has a question for Don't Melissa or Raphael, raise your hand now. We're going to end with a little quick Q&A. If you have a question, raise your hand. I know you do. You wow. come here, little boy. No, no. He has no questions. Can he has no know? questions? You have no questions? He has questions. Uh, I feel like they were about the season. I feel like you guys answered that. Good. Good. All right. Any other questions for Melissa? What do you have? What's your name? Christine. Christine, are you a top or a bottom? A top. Perfect. You're, that's why your breast you smells like ass. Top or a bottom? Just kidding. All right. Oh. What is your question? My question's for Melissa. Melissa. And my question is, um, after the Real Housewives of New Jersey, what are you going to do next? That's always like the question, right? Um, I, I have feel a suggestion. Like I would produce, honestly. I feel like I secretly love to produce. I don't even mind not being on camera. I would love to be behind the scenes, and that I would probably do something like that. Good. I think that like Joe is. The, you guys should like join forces and like sell houses and flip them and like just I know. make millions I know. and millions Everybody of dollars says that to me. We'll and see. but then produce the show about it you're we'll see. the what do you new want me flipping to do out after? what do you want me to do after i think you should sing oh sing okay. on display okay. on display on display i want it <laughs> isn't it neat? 
We have time for one more question. Raise your hand. What do you got? What's your name? Um, JT. JT, are you a top or bottom? I play um, the best of both worlds. Ooh, what are you better what at? Mean, exactly. Huh? Both. What are you better at? Um, I just like both equally. We agree. Did you ask what does that mean? No, no. So it's like, what do you feel in the mood for? I could do this or I could do that? Yeah, your verse, right? What? <laughs> what is your question? Well, it's not um, a question. It's more of a... Um, well, it's for, for Raphael, but it's not a question. But I wanted to ask if you could sign my Polaroid. Aww. Aww. How long have you been you holding want? on to that Polaroid? To be quite honest, it was after the... Um, Ending taping of your first season at the Yotel. Oh, okay. wow. That is so yeah. sweet. Get up there. Sign the autograph like the old days. All right, John Hill, that is it. We've done it. You this is a wrap so on season two. This. Thank you. That is, yeah, what, who did you think it was a picture of? No. Melissa Gorga, let's give it up. This is a queen. This is an ally. She came here. Straight from BravoCon, she. This isn't someone who shows up like this is an ally to our community. So we love you so much. Thank you so much, Melissa Gorga. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you so much, little boy. Thank you so much, Raphael, Alan Carr, John Hill. He has a show tomorrow at the Green Room 42. Get your tickets, go. You don't want to miss that. And thank you to all of our fans. Thank you for being. Oh shit. Joe. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your night. Grab a drink. Don't forget, John Hill has a show tomorrow at Green Room 42. Thank you, Cameron Greer, our producer, who's been so good to us. Thank you, Red Eye. We love you. Bye.